just demanding indecisive child. Now tell me about ghee. It's an Indian butter, and it's the only thing I have in my fridge. I am Davis, though. He needs a Lucifer. Now oh, what did I tell you, Elijah? Where are we in the night? <clears throat> they just start signing their emails with just the first initial of their name. Best H. H, who are you, hydrogen? <laughs> Uncle Sam's naughty bottle. I'm talking about Party City too much. No one's taken a risk in Massachusetts since the Boston Tea Party. Massachusetts is a neo-puritanical society. What's, oh, what's the neo, what's the neo part? M Matchbox 20. Three years ago, a 15 year old girl wanted to see more mature, so she got into coffee. Three years later, that girl is Bernie Sanders. Good baby. If you wear like a weird pair of shoes in Boston, you will be fed to the Dropkick Murphys. Oh my, oh, my mom, mom said, this is my ass man. Oh my, oh, my just filled it. I'm sorry, what did you just say? My grandma, you know, we called her. I don't care if we're at Turbo Cheese, Pepsi. I don't care if we're at Turbo Cheese. The Cheese Factory. Five guys, one cup. Bagheera bread. Or the unhealthy steak back. Got a micro penis right in the middle. It's not a micro penis. <laughs> Trust me. It's not a micro penis. It's not. If anyone knows micro penises, it's me. Trust me. If anyone knows micro penises, it's me. It's not a micro penis. It's not a micro penis. Trust me. If anyone knows micro penises, it's me. <laughs> yes. Mhm. Mm Yes, if, if it's under 60, go for it. Okay, I know when I'm being gaslit. Goodbye, Connecticut. Crabgrass, no, I never knew you at all. You had some shitty grandkids. And you never forgave the Japanese. You didn't think the Japanese should vote. Like a wet cowboy boot When it seems to me You lived your life Like a wet cowboy boot And never knowing Rush Limbaugh Wasn't the news And when your shitty grandkids Got to you eyes You blamed it on the Japanese didn't like a marriage, even though in college you probably left out with your friend Bernice. Although the one tough thing about having a daughter is knowing that at one point she will hook up with a photographer. Two words. Airport veggies. Jose was ranked last year. I'm either like preteen at her bat mitzvah disassociating, doing grease lightning choreography. <laughs> or I'm on the way to the DMV to change the occupation of my driver's license to queer icon. I'm Pam! Whoa, Chris, relax, you tall virgin. He's working toward a degree in up from me. He's gonna be an eye dentist. I need to get another shirt. They're like, you need to be wearing a shirt to be in this air. You're right, I should never have called, okay? Yeah. Not really between you and me, because Ron six inches away and you're screaming! There is no joy like that of an 11 year old boy Hearing his strange dad accidentally telling him straight of that that he loves him Excuse me? I know it's for babies. <laughs> but I need it. Why do I feel like that guy washes his hands with strawberry milk? He's essentially vandalizing the garage to do what he calls his GG dance, which is that he blasts off music while having a fit. I should've known how you kept going on About how welcoming the burlesque community's been This is Massachusetts where a man can be hanged for wearing orange It's electrifying! Look at him go down! Look at, look at how he sees! Look at how he views the cigarette! Something that was once so familiar to him, now he can't quite place! My dad is now occupying the level of hell that few people will ever know 
white guy who'll nag you at like a continental breakfast buffet But not even confidently nag you like mid-nag He'll try and desperately shove his hand into his pocket and miss his this hand Like a Romanian woman trying to seek sanctuary in an 18th century French jerk, you know a guy got into radio head Too young if even his pocket rejects him I know it's for babies, but I need it. Just because I have bad hair doesn't mean that I'm polyamorous. I also, I also coach a cross country team. team. Call me Popcorn Baby. I don't know why. I know why. I eat all the popcorn. It's usually the guy of the Verizon store. Who wears best to parties? That's right, I'm having daughters. No sons. Okay, sons are gross. Every time I see a guy with his son, I'm just like, ew, what are you guys, an improv group? I'm worried about this. I, that, that's, I have to worry when I see. There is something very. <laughs> about polyamorous couples. Highly flammable. Do not use, please. Tested on rhinos. Gave every single one of them sciatica. Do not ingest. It will lead to the conception of the son of Beazabor. I know, I know it's for babies. But I need Look at that. He is in a fugue state. Look at that grin. That's not flirting. That is not flirting. Chicks, good wings, always watching the sports. I was walking around uh, the streets of Clinton, Massachusetts a couple years ago, and a guy pulls up in a pickup truck, you know, a real buffalo wings kind of guy. He rolls down his window, he looks at me and he just goes, Nope. No! Look at the match! <laughs> you, you, you walk, you walk on stage, you, um, you get your diploma, and you shake hands with the college president, and then basically what happens is a minotaur just slaps you in the ass. And then you fly back home to Massachusetts, where you live for a year with your parents, substitute teaching in your hometown. And then one day you meet a Floridian fiddle player with whom you have a one-night stand. And then the next day you think you contracted an STD. So you wake up your mom at three in the morning and say, Mama, I think I have an STD. Which is not really something that you wanna hear from a son who's already not showing much aptitude for the real world. Then you have her look at your downstairs schnoz with a flashlight on WebMD looking for answers that you find the next day from a doctor who tells you that what you got is a very minor case of jockets. A very minor case of jockets. Sick jam. What? Ja you did what? Jason? Do you know what you did to me, Jason? You killed me. Jason. Well, this is rather rude of me, isn't it? Let's talk St. Patty's Day, or Christmas for townie homophobes. Not good! Will one townie with tiny little centipede hands prove to CJ, BJ, EJ, CJ, FJ, Anthony, and Mike that it's not the size of the hands on the homophobe, but the size of the homophobe. And there we have it. Oh, oh, oh my god! Is it a turn up? What happened here? Leave your favorite looks in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Yes, it's a big deal, Nancy! I just told my son's soccer coach that I love I just squeaked out an erotic nighttime whisper to my son's soccer coach. I know it's for babies, but I need it! 
continue on your journey. Namaste. Okay, who's ready to do the grad student shuffle? Come on. Okay, let's start easy. Knock over your clean canteen. Now tell me about ghee. It's an Indian butter, and it's the only thing I have in my fridge. Mark yourself safe on Facebook, even though you're nowhere near the emergency. Yeah! Take 140.